Hello, my name is Taka Matsumura. My team name is PHCS2 and my team ID is RCAP22SG7071. This year, I'm 15 years old and my, I have coding experience in Arduino, EV3, Microbit, and Fico, Python, and C++. I started robotics at 12 years old and I took part in Robocop RCAP Codespace U19 2022, Robocop RCAP Codespace Rescue U19 First Steps 2021, and Codespace First Steps 2020, but it was cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I am currently under internship with White Labs, where I am learning how to code a six-legged robot using Arduino. This year, I have participated, I have participated in Robocop RCAP Codespace U19 2022 on-site. So some problems faced when I was in a preliminary challenge is that there were three invisible grey line boxes randomly generated across the map and it did the same actions that I coded the robot to do as when it almost reached the border. As a solution, I made two separate codes for both the border and the boxes. So how to differentiate between the box and the border if it's so similar? One thing I realized is that there is a difference between the box and the border. This is the position. The XY position of the box and the border are different. This is the code that I used to differentiate between the box and the border. The picture on the right shows the code that I used to differentiate and identify the grey boxes. And the code on the, the picture on the left is the code that I used to differentiate from the boxes and to find the border. This is the game. To the real world is that whenever there's a pandemic like the COVID-19 but way worse, the grab food drivers that are providing and breaking food to your doorsteps will not be able to go outside as they are humans like us as well. Therefore, having delivery robots like these will be very useful in the future. And th if you see closely, these delivery robots are very similar to the simulator ro wheel robots that are provided in the Co-Space co Rescue Simulator. To make these kind of robots, of course, you will need color sensors, position like XYZ, coordinates and ultrasonic sensors to make sure that it doesn't get hit by cars, it doesn't get hit by people and it doesn't it doesn't hit them as robots of course do not have eyes therefore we have to make something that will represent as eyes for them. This is the end of my presentation and thank you for watching and listening.